Can you hear me? Sweet. I can't hear. Well, give me a break. This was filmed on Robo's computer last night, so... And I just woke up. Give me a break. <laughs> yes, this is Precursor. Alright. Um, Alright. All right, can you guys hear me now? Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this started. There we go, much better resolution. All right, so I don't want to start here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this into a three-part series, basically show off the three different templates. This one's going to be a little more special because I'm going to go ahead and show you the work we have in progress. And then in two days or three days or whatever, I'll go ahead and show you the next one and then go show you else progress we've made on the new things and stuff. Yeah, you can already see over there. So, this is going to be our Arctic themed, basically. So, mostly when we were thinking about doing ice, what we what popped in our head was jagged edges, very blue and white, very Arctic. So, this is basically what we've come to create. And so what we're going to do ahead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is start going in depth on the things. So you take your guys' opinions. You can go ahead and share on the forums. You can PM me anything you want to do that say like, hey, I think it would be better if this happened. Hey, I really like that. You should implement this type of design into more structures. You know, that stuff really helps because right now I don't get to play the game. So I have no idea what you guys want. So this is going to be really helpful. <laughs> yes, the town hall is, you can go ahead, you can already see all the stuff inside of it, which is both bad and good. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys know what this is yet, but I'm going to go ahead and share the barracks. So what I thought about when I came to barracks is, yes, everything's all jagged edged, everything's already doing that, but nothing really is circular, or nothing really has any like flow to it. So the barracks, what I had in mind is like a bunch of circles, well, my best attempt at circles and so this is basically what kind of design we had so I got kind of jagged edges here and you guys probably don't know it yet but it's a real pain in the ass because we don't have the no ice melting thing done yet so getting all these torches to stand up perfectly without melting anything is a big pain in the butt So, yes, I know, compact ice for 1.7, but what we were talking about is possibly um, maybe getting a server going that's through snapshots. That way we can easily go and go and go and go. That way it's not a huge surprise for everyone. And that way I can also start doing all the new stuff like compact ice so it doesn't melt and stuff. It's easy to see through. So, yes, we are thinking about doing compact ice for these, but for the time being, this will have to do until we actually decide to make a um, ultimate decision. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside. you got your checkered pattern, and you got your staircase upside right here, right up front. You can choose to put a door here. You can choose to do whatever you want here. So 
Over here, every barracks needs a kitchen for all your spies and stuff. You got your ender chest in here. Then you got a bunch of chairs. Over here, you got your furnace, crafting table, chests. So, yeah, basically the design. You can go ahead and change this any way you want. Basically, well, not any way you want, but you can add stuff to it. Basically, make it your own. This is just a simple design that I threw in. We're going to go over here. Here's the war room. A lot of access to walls and stuff for you to put up, like, maps on inside of picture frames. You can do whatever you want in here. Your table. Over here, it's a bug right now, and we're trying to figure out why this is only on the template server and not anywhere else. Over here, these are supposed to be bunk beds, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Ugh, stay, there we go. See, it's supposed to line up like this. This is what it's supposed to look like for all these. And... Yes, you can call me pre. So this is the way it's supposed to look like for all these. But right now there's a bug to where I try to implement all the beds explodes. And then it's a big pain in my butt. So until we fix that, then yeah. But it will be ready for the time you guys are able to get these. So don't worry. So yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like over there. And then over here what it's also supposed to look like. So, um, yeah, that is also true. They also kind of do it in-game, but what I'm thinking is I'll probably leave these open. You can go ahead and probably make put your own chest here, or you can choose to put beds or whatever. So, I don't know. Do you guys prefer beds or chests or anything? Again, these are stuff I need to know for when I start implementing stuff. Just so that way it doesn't mess with you guys. Alright, so, yeah, you got your chest over here. You got underground lighting. That way it looks more clean in here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go upstairs. Alright, so yeah, upstairs is open for you guys to do whatever you want. Outside, you got these chests and big open area you can choose to put like towers up here if you want to snipe people with bone arrows you can put whatever you want up here you got all four corners at your disposal so yeah, and again with this bug yeah I'll test everything to make sure all the doors are perfectly fine that way you don't have that door bug There you go. Alright. So, yeah, that's the barracks, basically. So, again, very plain, but then again, I want you guys to be able to customize these as much as you want and as much as possible. And then back here, you have your progress bar for training spies, settlers, and warriors. Then you got the chest right here. It's now going to probably, I'm going to have to test this, it's probably going to be a double chest now, so that way you guys are able to store more of them. But then again, I have no clue, so we're going to have to wait and see. I don't know if it'll duplicate it or anything, but again, that stuff, you get it. I get a test. Whew, and then you got your unit name right here. You got your train button, the next and previous. So, yeah, that's basically the barracks right now. So, there you guys go. The ice walls. The ice walls? I mean, like these? Oh, you mean like the ice walls, like the things that you use to protect yourself? Um, yeah, actually those are not an actual template. Those are something that's in code itself. That'll be something I'll have to discuss with Netizen to see if he wants that, because, I don't know, do you guys really want walls to where people can see directly through them and know where everything is? And then you're going to go ahead and say compact dice, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, snow wall. Hmm. I 
I don't know, is snow easier to break than stone? Then again, ice is way easier too. I don't know, something else you guys can leave in a forum is going to open up a little thing here for you guys to discuss. Whatever you want, quartz wall. Yeah, um, that's actually very, very true. I guess we could do a quartz wall, maybe. And the other advantages in Ice Biome is you have the you have the most badass sieve in the game. <laughs> yep. Um alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do it row by row. So this is the town hall, and I know most of you are gonna complain about how the town hall is never different, but that's Robo's rule, is that everything all the defensive structures have to be exactly the same. Um, now, Civ won't melt because, again, we're working on the... I'm pretty sure Netizen already has the ice... Preventing ice from melting uh, plugin already to go. But also, he doesn't have it on the template server yet because he wants to be 100% sure. That way we don't have a frickin' water world instead of ice world. So, yeah. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Town Hall. Well, we couldn't change the town hall in its entirety. We're able to make like little different things to it. Like the front here is com is different from the original. Like this is a r different from the original. We have different ways of lighting to prevent ice from melting. And I guess the advantages to the town halls you're able to see everything from inside. Disadvantages is everyone outside can see everything inside. So I guess it's graveyard thing. What do you mean the graveyard thing? Oh, the Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a bug right now. Right now I'm trying to... Because when people build it over air, the graveyard's floating. So, alright, so, yeah. The outside is pretty much the same. You don't have to worry about that. The inside is kind of different, so you can go ahead and see what we do. You got revive points here. You can also look up at the video and see where all your revive points are and stuff. Um, yeah, you got your trade outposts areas here. You got more revives. So basically, everything's the same. It's just different type of materials we have. Oh yeah, these are now fences instead of iron bars. So. That's the other thing that's going to be a little bit different about this town hall is that you can no longer jump and protect your things. You actually have to go down the stairs. And then, um, yeah, you're just basically the same. You got your, that's going to be wool. Everything's science right now because that's what we use to implement stuff, and that's the way of telling the code, hey, this is what we want and stuff, so that's why it looks like that's why there's signs all over the place. So yeah, everything's exactly the same. This is going to be fixed. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Go upstairs. You now have an obsidian ceiling. Wow. Okay, um, I don't remember doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> Purple power. So, and you got your war room with double ender chest this time. So that's also another advantage, I guess. I don't know if that's really an advantage, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Notre Dame over there. Um, all right. So this right here is the granary. What I try to envision when making this structure is an olden day, basically kind of a farmhouse mixed with a storage type thing. And so, yeah, yeah this is the, gra the grocer. Did I say granary? I meant grocer. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, crap. I can't swear on the stream. Um, this is the grocer, not the granary. So... 
Yeah, the grocer is I'm gonna go ahead and go in. You got your books here for cookbooks, kind of. Yeah, I also try to make it like a um how big of a pain in the butt it was to get fire in there without melting the ice on the other side for the window. Alright, so yeah, you got your signs right here for buying your food. Yes, I know compact ice. I know, I know, 1.7. Just calm the heck down. <laughs> doors. What do you mean about doors? Oh, yeah, um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll change these to levers, maybe, and that way if you want people to take care of your grocery, you can leave the doors open. Or if you're at war or something, you want to keep the door shut. <sighs> grocery has a grocery fee. Uh, yeah. So maybe I'll... Well, we don't want to remove the doors... Because it also helps people prevent from other people from using them if they want it. So I guess I'll just change these to levers. So site entrance, no, you really can't because well, hmm, I don't know. The grocery really needs only one entrance basically. So yeah, yeah, it's very different from an open market view. And what's even better is you got upstairs too. So, ooh, we're going all out with carpet. That's supposed to be a double bed. So, yeah, you can go ahead and have someone stay up here if you want. If you run out of, like, cottages or whatever, you can use them to protect the, the uh, grocer. So, you got more books for, like, cookbooks. You got a ton of storage up here to store your food. So yeah, that's basically the grocery. You got an upstairs, you got a window. Basically the other thing to the ice team is you want is to be very open. You want everything to be able to be seen from spots. I might put a window there. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably will put a window there. Again, work in progress. So not everything's not set in stone until we actually go to hopefully when the store opens in beta phase five. I'm not saying anything right now because I have no idea what Netizen is planning for it, but yeah, that's pretty much what you guys can expect. Now I wonder what the cottage looks like. The cottage actually looks kind of funky, I guess is the word will be. All right, so over here, this is the bank, and the bank has intricate designs to it. So yeah. A lot of windows, a lot of ice windows to be able to see through. So, go ahead. So the front looks like. We're gonna go ahead and go inside. Again, very intricate. A lot of open spaces. You could probably put like chests maybe up here. Oh, no, you really can't because those are stairs. Alright, never mind. Ignore that. You can put chests down here though. Um, the one thing it's lacking, though, I might put in is an ender chest, but, yeah, then again, almost every other structure has an ender chest in it, so I don't really know if it's necessary, maybe, but I might put one in here, maybe put two right here, so, um, yeah, put two right there, and then you got your iron, gold, diamond, emerald, little bars right here. Open area for you to put whatever you want in here. Yes, put in our chest. You know what? Screw it. You guys are so picky. Now leave me alone. Alright, um... Along the way. So, yeah, that's basically the bank. Alright, for those of you joining right now, you can go ahead and look back at it as soon as the video is posted here on Twitch or on YouTube even. So you can go ahead and take a look at what you have got, what you missed. So, yeah, this is the bank. Alright. 
What's next? What's next? Now this is the granary. And you guys are going to debate whether it looks like a gumball machine or it looks like the Space Needle. So, yeah, um, this was mostly Robo's design. He wanted to build something different. So, yes, it's not just me building. Alright, so, yeah, you got your area right here. You got your, what will be double chest down here. Again, signs that we use in order to implement stuff. So, if you see a sign, that usually means either picture frame or chest or whatever so yeah one thing I do have to say though is when this is building guys please for the love of God do not stand on top of it when it's building or you will be trapped and I will stand there and point at you and look like you like you're an idiot just saying all right so yeah that's basically the granary so go ahead and take a 360 view of it for you guys All right. So next up on the agenda, I guess, is the blacksmith right here. So blacksmith, as you guys can see, is very open to viewing. Roads. Um, I don't know about roads. That'd be something we would probably discuss in one of our dev AMAs that we do, that we're starting. So, yeah, I don't know about roads, maybe, but if that's something that we do want to do, that'd be something we would discuss in the AMA. AMA, so, yeah. Um, so, back to this. I'm going to go ahead and take a roof view. So, when I was designing this, I want to do something completely different from what I already did. And then, so, the roof is a little weird, I would take it, but I like the way it kind of came out. So, the roof is kind of a caved-in type view. And I just take a screenshot, I'm pretty sure. Um... So yeah, as you can see, it comes in. You can already see it from the inside. This right here is the forge. No, it's not the forge station. This is where you go to deposit your ore and withdraw it. Yes, it's an arena on top because you can have battles on top of the blacksmith. And you can look down and see it. Um, so yeah, and over here you got your anvils. You got chests for storage for items for all your ores that you want to deposit. And over here, you got your walkway. There's a ton of entrances to this. I can't express how many entrances. There's one, two, three, four, five, six entrances to this thing. So yeah, there's a lot of ways for you to get in. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. I don't know, does more entrances to you guys make it better? Yeah, except the ore deposit, you get more. You get more out of it. Like, you put in a stack of 64. I don't know what it is, but you might get, like, 10 back or so. I have to double-check. I'm really rusty on my Civcraft, guys, so... No, it's not hammer-based. It's, um... It's more of a percentage-based. You put this many in, this is how many more you get out, type of thing. 1.25. So, yeah, you put four in, you get one back. So you put in a stack of 64, you can go ahead and decide how how long it takes. I believe it's three hours, maybe? I believe it's three hours. Again, I'm really rusty. I haven't played Civcraft in a while. So, it's really slow, but I guess the benefit is you get more out of it. I don't know, if you have extra oral lane, Ryan, just throw it in there, come back in three hours, and withdraw your extra... Again, this stuff that you guys are discussing, like despotism, would add stuff to it. That'd be something to add into the forums thing. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and create a forums thing for you guys anyway. Sipcraft on that. Forums. General discussion. All right. New topic.
template suggestions. All right. From the stream. There we go. All right, it is now submitted. And go ahead and take a look. And yeah, there we go. So now you guys are fully able to share anything you want after the stream or during as long so yeah those will definitely be taken a look at by me so <laughs> alright so over here you gotta have something to play with right so yeah that's probably supposed to be like crusher over here this was supposed to be like a drill I try to make it out of we try to make it out of a hopper to make it look cool so I don't know if that's something I guess just design is not really effective or toward anything at all. But over here you got your forging station. Right now I'm trying to figure out why the fire is burning the wood. There used to be wood here. So, alright, you want to guys give me a second? I gotta shut my window with the dogs barking. Another fence. I don't know, is this too much cobble fencing for you guys? Yeah, but we're also trying to... Yes, it's a lot of stuff, and then again, we're also trying to keep designs differently. Like, this is cobblestone. The sand, that you'll see, contains a ton of nether fence, too, so... I don't know, maybe it balances it out type thing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically the blacksmith. Go ahead and take a 360 view for you guys. You got your fire pit, you got your water tower with drill. And you got the big room with a funky ceiling. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. I guess next up would be the windmill. The windmill is definitely different. It has different qualities than the original. It's definitely less big, I guess would be the word. So, yeah, again, suggestions that you guys, I'll take a look at them. So, we'll go. So, this is the, again, the windmill. Instead of cross cross type now we got x styled and then you got this right here go ahead and take a 360 for you guys so just like a normal windmill you come in here you see deposit you deposit your stuff in the chest right here I guess you could put more chest right here if you want for like storing your seeds you can put it all the way to the ceiling I don't know whatever you guys No, um, the doors are actually something me I effed up on when implementing stuff. It's just when I rotate things in order to implement it, the doors sometimes get funky. So if you see a funky door, then yeah, it's my fault. I'm gonna have I'm gonna plan on re-implementing everything before beta phase five, so all these doors will be fixed. You don't have to worry about that. So yeah, if you have a problem with doors, you can go ahead and blame me. But yeah, that's my F up. Alright, so which one should I do next? This will go ahead and take the time to look at... This is the cottage. Definitely different from the old ones. And again, a lot of stuff you'll see is definitely different. Uh, I don't know what you mean by northbound. Because all the structures are completely... are different, I guess. Everyone faces a different direction based on the orientation you're facing, so I don't know what you mean by north. Or like certain structures that only face by north. I 
Uh, then again, trade outposts, windmills, and towers. Yeah, because towers... Towers, I guess we kind of rushed on because we wanted to put them in there, throw them in there. Windmill, that's different. That's something I would have to look at because I'm pretty... I don't know about that. So, yeah. Alright, so those of you joining the stream right now, I'm showing off the ice structures and some of the stuff we have in progress. So if you missed any of the stuff, then you can go back and look at it on our past stream or on YouTube when it gets uploaded. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the cottage. So I'm going to go ahead and do another 360 for you guys. You can already see right now you got a fireplace in the center. <laughs> I love the ice stuff you can already see inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and come in here. So right off the bat, you got your fireplace right in front. You got open areas for anything. You come back here, you got your chest. You got your ender chest. Bed supposed to be right there. There we go. And then, yeah, that's that. You got an upstairs area, which is more wide open for you to do whatever you want in here. Then you got your fireplace right there. So, yeah. That's the cottage. <laughs> Not much to it. So people can build basements. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. That'd be something I have to discuss with Robo because he's really into having it be balanced. Because if I put an open floor here, I'd have to put an open floor on the, all the others, and I don't know if he really wants that or not. Again, suggestions for you guys. Yeah, trapdoor, again, but I'd have to put on all of them or to make it balanced. You can't have... Yeah, that'd be something... That'd be another to put in the forums for me to look at and discuss with Robo. And I kind of like it having an open area right here. That way you can put your own doors if you want. Because earlier you were complaining about doors, so I guess put doors yourself in here, maybe. Alright, so, yep, that's the cottage. Over here we got the mine. A lot of the mines you'll see, like two of them, almost all the mines are going to look really, really similar. Yeah, don't put doors. So, um, so yeah, this is the ice one. It's a different, but it's got the same style to it as the original, where the mound of dirt comes over. So, that is really funky. How does the snow stay like that? Okay. You can already tell that I had to build this in a jungle biome. <laughs> All the grass is really, really green. So, yeah, you got your trees on top. And no, the trees are not mineable for you guys that are thinking about free wood. Nope, sorry. It's not going to work. Nah, come inside. Alright, so in here, we try to make it look cool. We got ice hanging down. Got your lamps, and over here, this is where the chest would be. It's going to look really weird because this is an odd shaped room, and it's a double chest. Mm, yeah, I guess kind of double stack snow does look really weird. You don't really see it out in the wild too much. I guess it's just for like design and stuff. So yeah, you got your double chest. That's basically a mine. <laughs> All right. Next thing I'm pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and show off is I'll save that for next. This is the library, and what I kind of wanted to do is have like a U-shaped roof with the roof coming out type thing. So yeah, you got your U-shaped here, but it also extends out. That's kind of what I had designed for the roof of it. And then take a 360. You got your big, big windows. You got a ton of windows in this. Yeah. All right, got that there. And it's a double floored library, which I think is really nice. You come in here. I don't know. Do you guys like the carpet, maybe, or do you guys prefer putting your own colored carpet? That's something else. You guys can go ahead and share. Do you like carpets inside of them, or do you want to use different colored? You put your down your own type of carpet. It's something else you guys can go ahead and discuss about it. 
So, um, you got your signs over here. Then you got an overhanging bookcase, your torches. Upstairs over here, you got more shelves. And then over here, you got your balcony. Go ahead and look over. You can even use this as defense, maybe. It's partly flying. I don't really think you need an ender chest for the library, to be honest. Um, I don't know. The things I don't like about having a enchantment table area is that it's not all of them. Yeah, there's no point really, number one. And number two is it'd be kind of OP because... A lot of the areas that are trying to have it, all you have to do is build a library and you have an instant level 30 enchantment area. And plus, it's not really next to your spawner anymore. Well, we don't have spawners anymore, but yeah, there's. it's kind of OP, to be honest. So, yeah, that's the library. Again, really... The other thing I don't like about carpet, too, I maybe just get rid of the carpet and have you guys put your own, is you can't put anything down. You wouldn't be able to put anything down. And plus, since it's carpet, yeah, enchantment tables, that and carpet, you can't put anything down, really. So you're basically stuck with the way this looks. You can't put any of your own stuff. So I might just get rid of the carpet and have you guys put your own. So, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably will just do that. So yeah, that's the library. Over here we got... I'm pretty sure you guys can already des decide for yourself what this is. Yeah, this is the giant temple. Yes, there will still be four enchants per library. There will always be. I don't know why there wouldn't be any. So yeah, basically level 30 enchantment areas kind of defeat the purpose of the library, I have to say. More than four? Um, I don't think so. Uh, another thing that we would have to discuss, I'm pretty sure he w Robo likes to keep it. Not true. Uh, it's kind of a lot really true. Library is basically one of those things you go there just because you can't get the enchant you want type of thing. Uh, yeah, another thing you guys can... That'd be something to discuss during one of our AMAs. Not really so much the template stuff. Because that's more of all three of us have to decide, not just me, so... That, um, so yeah, more than four enchants or more than one library per town. That'd be something to discuss during one of our AMA things. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is the temple. It is massive. Lee Tall. So yeah, this thing is massive. Yeah, bother noticing. I'm trying to share stuff. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and come in here. And as soon as we walk in, you guys can already see the sheer size of this thing. This thing is huge. Yeah, and all this thing is used for is a double chest right here. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is massive. You got your open areas right here for whatever you want. You can put a bell tower. This roof goes all the way up. Then you got your gigantic stairs. Over here, and on this is on each side, by the way. So you can go over here. You got your, you got your balcony. You can look over. You can pretty much see your entire sieve from up here. And then you come over here. Got another room. I mean, look at the size of the ceiling. And 
And that is on both sides. And then you got your balcony on each side. So, again, with the pointy jaggeds. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take another 360 for you guys. I mean, this thing is hard to keep in one window because this thing is huge. War room. You don't really... Um, war rooms are mostly in barracks, not um, temples. Alright. So, yeah, that's the temple. Alright, for those of you joining right now, I'm sharing the ice theme to you guys. If you guys missed anything, you can go look back at our past broadcasts, or you will be able to look it up on YouTube here in a couple of hours as soon as this is done. So, yeah. Alright, over here, I don't really need to share them, because they're... I don't have to share the inside, because they're exactly the same, just different, different materials, because Robo wants to be able to keep the defensive structures exactly the same not really have them different to make them more OP or less OP. So yeah, all the defensive structures are going to look exactly the same for all the different themes. So, this is the watchtower. It's got a ton of ice. So yeah, this is the other thing you can be able to distinguish them differently from. Watchtower has a crap ton of ice. All it is is ice. And over here you got your I'm pretty sure you guys can already decide. This is the scout tower, only one without arrows shooting out. Then you got the cannon tower. So, yeah, those are the towers. All right, over here we got. Share that next. So, this has become completely irrelevant anymore since we're getting rid of the nether portals. But yeah, we've got another portal over here. Again, these questions like pastures are going to hold like 20. All that other stuff will be something we could discuss during our three dev AMAs. Alright, um, so yeah, that's the nether portal. Completely irrelevant anymore since we're getting rid of them. Alright, um, over here. So this is really, really cool. So this is the monument right here. Next AMA. I think we have it scheduled for not this upcoming Wednesday, but the next Wednesday. So don't quote me on that. But we will be doing one here within the next two weeks. We don't want to do it every week, but we do plan on doing it every two weeks because every week we wouldn't have anything to discuss, really. So every two weeks is pretty much what we're going to be doing for AMAs. All right, so... Yeah, back to the... So this is the monument. It is... I like it. It looks really, really cool. Inside, I think you guys would be really cool. So inside, we got our own fire in here. Completely caved in, so that way it doesn't melt anything. A little less room, though. But then again, I don't think you guys really run around through... What do you mean by this is when we talk and get input on the next phase stuff? Do you mean during AMAs or during my my template er sections? During AMAs, um, yeah, that's when that's when you talk about next phase stuff, things to implement during the next. This is just me showing off my work to you guys and be able to get your input on what you guys would like to see in the templates, since you guys play the game mostly and I just build stuff for you. That's a long time. Yeah, but if you do it every week, there's not really much stuff to discuss, really. That gives you time to play the game and build up ideas or questions for us to do. We'd like to do it every two weeks, but... Yeah, we'd like to do, really do it every two weeks. Every week is actually... Yeah, I guess if there's a demand, we could do it every week, but... To me personally, that's not a lot of stuff because we have to share stuff within an hour. And the only way, there's not really much of us for it to share you. I guess maybe every week, like we take one week, 
we share what we want and get questions. Week two is just straight questions, maybe, I guess. On the weekend. Okay, I guess if you guys would like to do it during the weekend, maybe. Would that be something you guys would like to do? During the weekend? Maybe, like, Thursday. I mean, like... Friday, Saturday, or Sundays during the afternoon, we all know that you guys are up, possibly. Alright, I guess weakens the demand. <laughs> Again, something you guys can... I guess you guys can start your own forum on that. Let us know that you all want to do. I guess we... <laughs> So yeah, that's the monuments. Again, share input on what you guys think about these structures, what you guys like to see in them, what you'd like to change. All right, for those of you joining right now, I'm sharing off the ice templates and all the stuff we other have in development. If there's anything you missed, you can look back on our past broadcasts, or you can look it up on YouTube in a couple hours. All right, and I also started a forum for you guys to discuss this stuff. Uh, if I go taller, then it'll look exactly, and I know you guys will already say what it will look like, and I will not say it on the stream because there's children watching. Alright. Over here. <laughs> so over here we got our trommel. This is the trommel where you deposit cobblestone and get gravel and other stuff back. Go ahead and take a 360 for you guys. Alright, so yeah, first thing about the trommel, I know you guys are going to ask, how did I get that fire in there without melting the ice? A lot, a lot of work. So over here, what we tried to do with this is we, we, tr is we tried to get this to kind of look like a milling operation. Like over there, it starts out the cobblestone over there. Come over here, out pops out gravel. And over here, I already put up signs that can say it. So over here would be the deposit for you to put your um, cobblestone and stuff. So this is where you'd put it. Over here is where you withdraw. So yeah, that's basically a trauma. Not really a lot of stuff to share other than <laughs> netherrack generators. And this is also, you don't really have entrances, the whole thing's an entrance. That's also really nice. Alright. Now we're starting to get over to the big structures, the 2x2s. Two Alright, so over here, we got the global market. So yeah, it looks the same, but we're trying to keep it looking the same. That way people have an easier idea of what it's what it actually is. So I'm going to go ahead and take a 360 for you guys. You got the ice roof. You got, yeah, this is the global market. And no, the double doors will not look like this before you guys start complaining. So don't freak out. Alright, in here it looks pretty much the same. You got your signs. You got your ladders for upstairs. Got your sign. All of these signs are for a possible future. Um, probably. The reason why we have all these signs is in case we want to update it for more stuff. Like 1.7, there's a ton of more flowers and fish and stuff coming out, so that'll probably be implemented on these. So yeah, these signs are just basically future-proof us. Alright, so they, yeah. Not much to share about the Great Library, not Great Library, but just stuff, the global market, because it's pretty much the same except for the exterior design. Alright. 
Next over here, this is the pasture. And the first thing you guys are going to notice is it looks completely different than our wooden, than my all wood structure. Again, stuff like stuff being put in the market, that'd be something to discuss with Robo since that's what he does. He does all the stuff for the market, so that'd be something you guys could discuss with him. But yeah, here's the pasture. You come inside, you got your fenced off area for you to put things in. You got your doors to outside pasture for you to release your sheep, your pigs, your chickens. Come and kill your animals. too open. Uh, I guess maybe I'd put the fence taller, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Again, work in progress. Things like I can make the... I guess I can make this a little bit bigger. I can make the... See, so yeah, I have room to do that. So, I can make this walls bigger. Wait, are you saying that you're one of the people that do pasture killing? Because that's griefing, and I'll ban you right this very second. <laughs> Silence. All right. So, yeah, I guess I can make the walls taller because I got room for it. So yeah, things to discuss like you'd like to see it taller to prevent <laughs> to prevent um, animal killing. Things to also discuss in the forum. Um, so yeah, that's the pasture. Not really much to do because you don't really need signs. That's just for breeding, which is why we try to make big open areas. Not really a just an inside spot. And then, over here, this is the camp. <laughs> you need proof, bro. Alright, so yeah, this is the camp, and one of the first questions you guys would probably ask is, why do we have different camps? Well, first of all, one, they're constantly destroyed, so you constantly have to rebuild them. Alright, um, yeah, number one is they constantly get destroyed, I guess. And number two, a lot of people who build camps actually stay in them for quite a while, for like two or three weeks while they save up enough for a uh, sieve. So yeah, that's why I kind of went all out and went like, yeah, we'll have different styled camps. So yeah, here we have the camp. You got your pathway to the farm. Over here you got your sifter. Kind of what I had in mind for the sifters in olden days where you have your basket, you shake it for like gold and stuff inside over water. So yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind for that. What are you talking about? It looks like an igloo, okay? It's an igloo. Wait, give me a break. You know how hard it is to make an igloo out of Minecraft blocks? It's a pain in the butt. And trying to fit it in here? People can see everything in the other one, too, because you have windows. This is the Sifcraft channel. I'm sharing off my templates. You spelt my name wrong, RJ. Alright, so, yeah, you got your fire pit over here. Alright. Alright, this is something I would have to discuss with Netizen later. What I try to do is have a double door type thing, but what what you would see is you see that door, but copy it onto this side. Instead of it being like this, it would have two doors of that. 
So that's something I'm trying to have to figure out, maybe make this one wide. But yeah, that's something for me to figure out. Alright, in here you got your... I guess this is completely irrelevant now. Get rid of that carpet. So yeah, that'll probably go. Um, so... Over here you got your... You got your signs. So yeah, every camp will have these signs, by the way, because a lot of people completely forget and freak out when their camp is gone because they build too close to a sieve. Over here, you got your ender chest, you got a table, you got chest, enchantment area. This is the food input area where you put your, um, this is where you put your food to upgrade your, um, area. You got your furnace over here. This will be a door. This is really cool. So back here you got your staircase going up and up here it is completely open for you guys to do whatever you want. Because I know the number one thing you guys want to do is have an unlike the log house like before where you'd have to build your own um, attic and then you have the spider webs too. That would be really annoying. I guess one of the things you'd be getting with this is you have a completely open upstairs for you to put whatever you want. Yeah, you can put a bed in here if you want. Um, I guess I'll put a bed in here. Yeah, that kind of makes sense because when you slap down this, I don't really think you have enough supplies for a bed a lot of the time. Because if you slap it down in the jungle, you're screwed. No wool there. Just pigs and cows. Alright, so yeah, come out here. This is the control point over here. And so yeah, that's the camp. Take another 360 for you guys. And yes, the trees are completely solid. You cannot mine them for wood. Alright. So, yeah, anything else you'd like to change about the camp or anything like that? Let me go ahead and share that on the forums things you'd like to see more improved on it, you can go ahead and share that. Alright, over here, the big boy. This is the shipyard. You guys probably tell already. Again, trapdoors are something you have to discuss with Robo because that's also not only enables you to get underground, but also enables your enemy to get underground, so that's something to discuss with Robo, not something really to discuss with me. I am just play by the rules, boys. So yeah, this is the shipyard. So you got your ship in progress right here. What I try to do with this is make it more industrial-like. Because everything, everything else is more Arctic Winter Wonderland. What I try to do with this is make it more actually industrial. So you got your like crane arm right here. You got your window over here for the operator. And then you got a poop ton of chests like the original shipyard. Got all these chests over here. Over here you got your bench. You got more chests. Over here. More chests. Then you come over here. This is the upstairs to the control room. So, yeah. Shipyard's basically the same on both sides except for that window over there. Then you got your ship in progress over here. So yeah, completely different from the original but at the same time trying to maintain the same style. So yeah, wish we could build these on rivers. I don't think this will fit on a river. <laughs> Unless you find a 2x2 two two river, then I don't know. 